Um, do you know what? I'm I'm gonna say I totally agree with you. The first thing I was thinking right now is that Stellini must come in over Conte because Stellini plays the Conte system better than Conte. If you think that in the three games Stellini's been in charge, we've actually created quite a lot of chances, but we've also had possession because we played the Conte style, but with possession. Now, I was thinking this. You know, look, you can you always have a leader and you always have a backup who follows the leader but has a slight twist to what the leader is doing. I'm pretty sure that when Arteta was on the pet, there were certain decisions that Pep was making and Arteta was sitting there cringing, going, mm, I'm not sure about that. Or, mm, I don't know if it's folding. I would rather play, you know, be, you know, Bernardo Silva or Mares, but he's gone for folding, that kind of thing. And I'm kind of seeing that with Stellini and Spurs. You think about that. To be honest, bro, I, I you know, what I don't want to do is I don't want to be the type of person that flip-flaps like the weather. Do you get what I'm saying? For me, I've been quite clear. I don't give a damn about where we finish in the league. Yeah, I'm being brutally honest. I, I don't care about the league. Uh, I think for us, our focus should be the Champions League. If we win the Champions League, bro, it don't you could finish bloody, you know, 15th or 12th. It's still a great season. Yes, the fact that we're in the top four is a good look in terms of even if we do we don't win the Champions League or we or we don't get to the latter stages, we're able to qualify via the league. I think finishing in the top four for any club is a respectable finish. I think the only club that finishes fourth that won't be happy this season is Arsenal. And the reason why they won't be happy is because they had an eight-point lead at the top. And to go from being top of the Prem to finishing fourth, quite frankly, is the biggest bottle job that I've seen <laughs> in recent time. Do you get what I'm saying? I was on a show earlier and I came up with this theory. And I don't know. Guys, feel free to put a message in the, in the chat if you agree. Graham Potter is a good manager. However, the type of manager that Graham Potter is, he needs time. If you look at the work that he did at Brighton, they are still riding off the foundations that he laid now. Yeah. It's not the new guy. And remember, in Potter's first couple of seasons at Brighton, they were rubbish. And then gradually over time, his system was being implemented. I think the difference is that are Chelsea going to give Potter the time? to do his thing. I don't think so. And I think Potter was a mismatch. I think Chelsea would do better with a Conte. Yeah. Conte is the sort of person that if he spends 650 mil, he wins you the title straight away. There's no long thing. Yeah. Whereas Tottenham should have gone for the longer project, a bit like a potch, with Graham Potter. Since we're not going to spend 650 mil, nowhere yeah. near it, we could have gone on a rebuilding job. And also... Potter plays the Tottenham way and Tottenham fans, Tottenham would always talk about playing our way so Skills is saying so you would take Potter at Tottenham, I would however my first choice would be Pochettino, Dissemble says he wouldn't count Poch out of the Chelsea job, would you Deji? Do you know what? I can't Pochettino's love for Spurs is a bit strange yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Pochettino never played for Tottenham Hotspur. But his love... You know, like, Arteta played for Arsenal, so you can kind of say, even though I would say that Arteta is more an Everton man than an Arsenal man. He spent more years at Everton. He was more of a legend at Everton. And people forget that. Arteta yeah, forget came that. to Arsenal towards the end of his career. And I don't know what he did. I don't know if he won anything at Arsenal. However, if you ask me, when I see Arteta, I see blue. I see Everton. Pochettino never played for Spurs. But even when he went to PSG, even with the dirtiness that Levy did to him, he was still complimentary of Spurs. And I remember him saying that he's got unfinished business. So right now, Pochettino is in London. He's posting online. He's attending matches yeah. with his family. 
Pochettino is waiting for the Spurs job. He doesn't want any other job. In high but profile jobs continuously. I will say a couple of things in Poch's defence. The first thing was, remember, he wasn't backed. He got us to a Champions League final unbacked. And I swear, when Mourinho went back to Chelsea the second time, didn't he win the league? He did, he did. Yeah. He did. He won it again. So, for me, I'm just thinking... I, you know what? What I can see Poch coming towards before the season ends. I can see two things. I don't know why people are going to say, people are going to say, this guy is crazy. Why are you seeing these things? Well, I can see two scenarios. I see the first scenario Conte wins a trophy and drops the mic. Either way, Conte is gone. He's not staying, trust me, because we're not yeah. giving him the money that he wants. And I can see that Conte is capable of winning the Champions League and dropping the mic. He did it at, at Inter Milan. He won the bloody league and left. Yes. You don't win the league and leave. You at least give it a couple games. He doesn't. He left. <laughs> he didn't even start the next season. I can see him doing that with Spurs. Or Tottenham win the Champions League because Conte comes back, Portugal. you know, around Portugal. March. Okay, Conte, okay. With that kind of new manager bounce, the momentum, the energy, the euphoria, the thing, oh, Poch is back, the love. And that momentum takes Spurs to the finish line. I can see it one of two, two ways. Do you know? Bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. If Poch goes to Chelsea, it's almost as bad as Sol Campbell going to Arsenal. No. No, nah, bro, I'm going to have to drop it, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Let me tell you why. I'm telling you why. This brother has explained his undying love for Spurs. But remember, the battle at the bridge, Poch was in charge. Do you understand? He was in charge when that madness happened. Yeah. To then go over to Chelsea, who hate our guts, who we hate their guts, that means he, he severed ties, bro. <laughs> do, you know, do you know, So Campbell has tried to apologise recently to Spurs yeah. fans, said that he flopped. He made a mistake. Do you know what the Spurs fans did? They said, shut your mouth, blood. We ain't taking you back. We Imagine, Sol Campbell is technically a Spurs legend. And they did. They left him out. They left him out. They were bigging up all the Tottenham players of, 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 the, of the past. Do you know what I mean? Ledley King, all the kind of Tottenham greats. They even brought back Van der Vaart. Klinsman was there. Sheesh. Oh, Campbell was left out, my brother. Savage. If Fox does the dustiness and goes to Chelsea, then I'm going to unfollow him on Instagram. <laughs> not that he cares. Pochettino goes to Chelsea, then I'm I'm erasing him from our history. Really? No, I'm I I'll be me personally. I'll be very happy for him. I mean, I hope they <laughs> finish second. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I hope they finish second to us and, you know, hey, all, the, all the time. But this is what I'm saying. Like, very excellent manager. Southampton didn't have a lot of money. Came in there. Excellent signings. Played fantastic football. Went to Spurs. Same thing. Great football. Almost there in terms of uh, winning a trophy. PSG, I mean, three of the laziest forwards known to man. Um who did you know who, who didn't allow him to play the way that he wanted? Yeah, they still excelled. Like he's a very good manager, like a good guy, as far as I'm concerned. And I can't wish him Yeah, uh, no, I Ill. wish him well as a person, but don't go, don't do the dirty. You get me? Don't oh, yeah, do man, it's a business. Like if someone said, Hey, I'm gonna give you no I'm gonna give you a crazy I'll salary. I'll call it out for what it, don't come to our yard, don't be shaking any hands, don't hug Harry Kane, <laughs> don't do any of that crap. Because I'll I will throw a coin. I will throw really? a coin like said. Do you get what I'm nice. saying? But I know Poch. Poch wouldn't do that. So let's not be thinking like mm. this is some sort of horror movie. He wouldn't do us dirty uh, in the way that is being suggested. So man, you're only five points behind Arsenal, you know, bro. With all the madness about Eric Ten Hag. He's only five points behind Arsenal. So he's doing an absolutely brilliant job. And I can see the Manchester clubs closing Arsenal down. I mean, per, I mean, what do you see, Zeus? Do you think Arsenal, are they flattering to deceive or are they the real deal? Are they gonna are they gonna do this Leicester City freaky season and, and win this trophy? Because I rather know now, so I know how to angle myself moving forward. I mean, 
like I said, like I said, I think this game, this Villa game was the one breaking point. Like it just being able to pull out a win from where they were and coming back, you know, they went down, came back, went down, came back. And then, you know, Jorginho does his thing. And so they, they, it's going to, I guess, go, go down to the end. Like, it's not like they're going to falter and fall away with like 10 games to go. I think it's going to go right down to the end. And I think it's going to be United versus uh, Arsenal. Uh, really? For the title. You're yeah. not even putting City in there? Uh, I don't, I, I think there's too many structural problems in there with Pep. And I think it, it's uh, someone, it was Cancelo who got, uh, so like, who went on loan to buy it. Mm. Uh, and I just see, this is this is Ten Hag's first year in the league, and he's going from strength to strength, right? And his players are rediscovering their form under him and stuff. Yeah. So I only see them going like up and up. Like that's that's all I'm saying for them. 